Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to begin with it. I thank you all for being here today and for paying close attention to the evidence. Usually I don't have too much of a disagreement with what I expect the evidence to show. We just have a different interpretation of what that evidence is. But here, state uh, really wrong. Um, because the evidence will show that Mr. Jason Palmer um, was involved with Florida on October 6th and left while with Florida on October 6th at 9.26 a.m. Central Time. So it would have been 10.26 a.m. Eastern Time and arrived in Woodbine on October 6th at 12.52 p.m. Central Time, which would be 1.52 p.m. October 6th is when he arrives. And he leaves Woodbine, Georgia, the exit 14 gas station, about 12, 13 hours later at 12.53 a.m. Central Time, or 1.53 a.m. on October 7th, 1.53 a.m. And that Jessica Goodrich was not found until October 8th at 1.51 p.m. Or excuse me, 2.11 p.m. is when the call came through. So that's not 13 hours later, <laughs> like the state told you. That's 36 hours later. I also expect that the officers will tell you that I don't know if their opinion has changed since. But at least their opinion at the, the time of, of doing their investigation, they did not believe that Jessica Goodrich was killed here in Camden County. They believed that she was killed somewhere else, transported here, and was dumped in Woodbine. So I'm interested to see what exactly changed their opinion. But just because the state says that I expect the evidence to show this, pay attention to what the evidence actually shows. I want you to set aside that guttural reaction you may have had when you heard that this dealt with a murder, that this dealt with a stabbing, that this involves alleged acts of domestic violence between Jessica and Jason. And listen to the evidence closely, but primarily listen out for the lack of evidence. Because there is more evidence lacking in this case than there is evidence against Mr. Palmer. You will hear no direct evidence whatsoever that Mr. Palmer committed any of the crimes that the state is alleging he committed. No direct evidence. There is no DNA, there is no fingerprints, there is no blood matches, nothing that the state will present to you to show that Mr. Palmer committed this crime. There were tests done. You will hear that there were tests done. You will hear that there were fingerprints. <coughs> and, but despite the fact that these tests were run, None of the fingerprints found on any of the items around the scene link back to Mr. Palmer, and that there was no DNA or other blood or other forensic evidence that links back to Mr. Palmer. You will also hear from Captain James Galloway, excuse me, Chief Galloway. I'm gonna use those terms interchangeably because he was Captain at the time this occurred, but is now Chief. Um, but Chief Galloway, you will hear from him that they went up to Indiana. But that's where, when they finally did get an arrest warrant on Mr. Palmer, he was just riding along, doing roads as an over-the-road truck driver, and that's where he happened to be, and that's where he was brought into custody by law enforcement. And in Indiana, they did a search of his truck and they found absolutely no traces of blood in his truck. And they examined his truck using luminol and other chemicals, 
that are designed to find the presence of blood even after it's been cleaned up. Or they would have seen other signs of cleaning. So nothing in his truck to indicate that the crime was committed there. I don't believe that you'll hear anything from any of the other officers that there was blood or anything on the scene where Jessica was found. So it wasn't committed there. What the state is supposed to do in trials is put together a puzzle for you. And through each witness, you get a puzzle piece, a piece of that puzzle. Maybe one witness, like a more extensive witness, like Investigator Daniel is going to be, or perhaps Lieutenant Rafferty is going to be, they're going to give you numerous pieces of the puzzle. But at the end of this trial, you should have enough puzzle pieces to have a nearly completed puzzle. Doesn't have to be 100% complete. The judge will tell you that. Doesn't have to be to a mathematical certainty. But you have to have a clear picture and clear understanding of what happened in this case before you will be authorized to find the defendant guilty. I submit to you, you will not get enough pieces of those puzzles from the evidence the state intends to present in this case. There are more questions than there are answers. There's going to be holes missing where you're not going to be able to put a clear picture together. And the most important thing is you will not, I'm confident you will not be able to exclude all reasonable theories of innocence, which the judge will tell you is required before you're authorized to find the defendant guilty. So pay attention to the evidence, pay attention to the lack of the evidence, and at the end of this trial, I will come back and ask that you find Mr. Jason Palmer not guilty on all charges.